1939, the submarine Squalus lies on the ocean bottom off Portsmouth, New Hampshire. 59 men are trapped inside as rescue vessels, led by the Falcon, locate the sub and prepare to send down a newly developed rescue bell. Recently commissioned, the Squalus dived with an air intake valve open. Disaster followed. However, the rescue device works well, and 33 of the crew of 59 are brought to the surface. 26 are trapped in flooded compartments. The lucky ones survived one of the Navy's worst sub-disasters until the Thresher's ill-fated dive 24 years later. Navy salvage team spent four months in trying to raise the Squalus. They used giant pontoons that were lashed to the hull and then pumped free of ballast. The first attempt appeared to be successful when the pontoon foundered and the submarine stayed on the surface for just a few minutes before sinking back once more into 40 fathoms of water. It wasn't until the third attempt that the Squalus was raised successfully. This was an operation that was unprecedented in salvage history. Once the sub is held on the surface, it is pumped out to be floated to the Portsmouth Navy Yard. Still inside are the 26 dead. Peacetime heroes will receive burial with full military honors. A few months later, there was a new chapter. The Squalus was reconditioned and renamed the Sailfish. With four of her original crew members aboard, the sub joined the fleet once again. <laughs>